So let's kind of snaz up our sidebar a little bit and we'll add in uh, a Facebook box, a like box into it just, just for the fun of it. Um, so what you need to do is you need to go to log into your Facebook account and go to this address here. So it's developers.facebook.com forward slash docs forward slash plugins forward slash like box for pages. And when you get to this page here what you want to do is you want to first thing you want to do is change that to an S because all Facebook pages are now uh, secure pages and put in whatever one you want to put in. Now you don't have to put this in it's just it's a little feature that um, just makes it look nice I think. Now this is my page here so if you click down here it brings up the feed for that. So I want to give this a width um, I don't want it to be too wide so if we go with we say 260 pixels it's wide enough so if we click there you see that's plenty wide. Uh, I want to give it a height of about 400. That's plenty high enough for me. I don't want to show faces. I don't want to show the border. Uh, I want to show the posts. And that's pretty much all I want to show. Uh, so, and again, our scheme, color scheme is light. You really only have two options here. If you go dark, it just means that you're going to be on a. It's a white. It, you'll see if you have a dark background but I think you get the idea so that's pretty much all I want to do for here so if we click on get code and the first thing you have to do is you have to paste this inside the opening body tag so if you copy that and if we go back to our Dreamweaver page and just inside our opening body tag which is our body with a class of wrapper we can just paste that in there. Or that has to be there in order for it to work. That's the script that allows the the uh, plugin to be displayed. So if we go back to our browser then and we take this baby here and we copy it and if we go back into our Dreamweaver we can paste this directly underneath the paragraph tag in our sidebar. So control V. So if we save that and if we put our both our index actually all we need to put up for now is our index.ph because we haven't actually created any rules for it so if we put that to the server and this is one of the reasons that I wanted to do this on a live server because this doesn't show up uh, in an offline um, server so if we refresh the page you can see our Facebook page feed is showing up here but we want to add a little bit of styling to it because you can see it's thrown up against the left hand side here so we go back in and we'll create uh, just a little rule for it in Dreamweaver so we'll go to our style sheet so we'll continue the trend under the sidebar here uh, and we'll create our rule here so here's our rule here for it so it's sidebar content and it's dot facebook like box which is the name of the div that we actually pasted in so facebook like box as you can see it's a class so the first thing we've done is we've given it a width of 260 pixels which we did previously uh, we've given it a height of 400 pixels and we've given it a margin left and a margin right of auto so that will center it within that div uh, and the next thing we've done then is we've given it a margin bottom of 3%. So if we save that and we put up our CSS document and we go back in here and we refresh it, not a huge amount has changed. So our margin left and margin right properly don't seem to be working properly with this. So just to save time I'm just going to go back in and I'm going to give it um, a margin left of say 5% or something like that just to make it easy um, it's something that's not going to resize anyway it's not going to be a, a dynamic property so uh, so if we save that and we put it back up we should have a, a certain amount of margin now on the left hand side just to kind of pull it into the center just a little bit and we have 5% is probably a little bit too much so if we go back and change it to 4% it should be okay So we'll upload it to the server again and if we refresh yeah four percent looks a little bit better now you can add a border to this if you want um, it's up to yourself depends on how you feel about it be sure to hit this little button here because I do appreciate the likes uh, that's my Facebook page so uh, and that's adding uh, your social aspect to it as well